everyone and welcome back. As most of you know, I just went on a bachelorette weekend to celebrate my friend Jazzy's elopement and boy did we have fun. However, I did not fully vlog, but I did take quite a few clips while I was there, which you'll see in this video. So we will be in voiceover mode for the most part, but the bride Jazzy and one of the girls named Carrie, they also have YouTube channels and they daily vlog. So they allow me to take a couple of their clips here and there. But if you want to see daily vlogs of this trip from their perspective, um, or just check out their channels in general, it'll be linked down below. So as you see, I flew, I took an early morning flight to Raleigh and Jazzy and a couple of the girls picked me up from the airport and we started our drive to Asheville where the bachelorette will take place. But before we continue, you have to meet these lovely, lovely ladies that I now get to call my friends. So this is the bride Jazzy and then we have Brie and then we have Georgia and then we have Natalie and we have Carrie. So now that you know these lovely ladies, back to the trip. On the way, we stopped at this place called Cookout for lunch, and guys, it was so delicious, and you get so much food for like nine or 10 bucks. Into vlogging? Yeah. Here's the menu, am I recording? Why are you crying? I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, stop! I think she's gonna okay. vlog it all for us, so. ready? <laughs> you guys do back there. <laughs> Guys, and so you guys can see that we're already having fun and giggling and everything. But this is some of the food. The crazy thing is, is you can get like a corn dog or a quesadilla for the sides. I had to go with hush puppies and the cheese bites and then a burger. But the star of the show was the cookout sauce. <sighs> guys, I could have just drowned everything in that. <laughs> but then we made our trip to Asheville. Of course, stopping at Duncan on the way because the bride is the Dunkin' Queen. And then we also went ahead and stopped at a grocery store to just get all of the supplies and things we needed for the weekend. Y'all look at this oh. delicious grocery. Uh, what's this called? A cart. Our grocery haul. Oh. Grocery haul. Oh. Oh. I have marshmallows. Marshmallows. Then I have very cheap toilet paper. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But don't skip on it, because that thing has got 421 <laughs> square feet. <laughs> we got some delicious Ooh. cookies. Oh, yeah. Cranberry and white. Add a little spice in your life. You guys know we had to get the sugar-free creamer. Ooh. We had to get ranch dressing. <laughs> <laughs> She's really dirty in the hall, y'all. Yeah, oh, look how cute this is. We need yeah, to like just like that. I can't oh, see everything. Oh, oh, she okay. on! Oh, Fast forward to when we got to the Airbnb, we just put up some different decorations that you guys will see here and unpacked the groceries, picked our rooms, just got everything ready for the weekend. And we laid out all of our little gifts that we planned for the girls. You'll see that this bachelorette was Taylor Swift themed because our bride is a Swifty and a Duncan girl as we already chatted about. And we kind of went with wintery vibes. So we have a little snow globe frame for our Polaroids. We have the Taylor Swift t-shirt bag, glasses, and the Duncan cup and a couple other little goodies here. And we just made sure there was a couple cute backdrops for photos because we are all photo girls. And then we put a couple little um, sneak peeks of their elopement here. Jazzy hasn't shared much of their elopement, but we kind of put little pictures around. And we also decorated her room. We had to make it special for the bride and her favorite quote from one of a Taylor Swift song. So that is what everything looked like. <laughs> it's so cute! Once we got settled this first night, we just kind of hung out and all got to know each other. We had a pizza night and then hung out by the fire, which was really fun. Guys, I miss the mountains. I forgot how much I love the mountains. And we of course had some s'mores. You know it killed me to serve it on this plate. But when at Airbnb, you do what you can. <laughs> you do what you can. Um, by the fire, Jazzy gave us the sweetest gifts 
ever, guys. These are so cool. I had never heard of them. It's a shirt from a company called Nice Shirt Thanks. She wrote, you know, five or six details about us and an artist created personalized shirts for each of us. It had us laughing, giggling the entire time and it really just showed how much Jazzy cares about us and pays attention to us and our friendship. I'm not gonna share them all here because it's literally a complete video in itself, but Jazzy does share a lot about the shirts over on her channel, so check that out. It's definitely worth the watch, trust me. But this is the view from our Airbnb. It was so pretty. I just had to share this little clip that didn't fit anywhere else because it was so beautiful. And now it is the next morning. Good morning! Good morning. Look at all the cute girls! Woo! Okay. Oh, we'll do a video for this and then. Oh, there we go. Yes! Woo! 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 After our little mini photo shoot and our matching shirts, we headed out to this cute little breakfast spot. I don't want to call it a diner. It was just like a cute little country mom and pop breakfast spot. And it was so good. Now look at the bride. Yes. Look how cute she is. Wow. We are at the cutest place right now, you guys. It's literally not like locals, I think. That it's somewhere. the word quaint. So quaint. <laughs> yeah, it's very me. It's cute. It's cute. And the food was so good. You see everyone vlogging here. It's, it, it was hysterical being with other people who vlog. But we had pancakes, biscuits, and gravy. Those are the best. Oh my gosh. And the hash browns were actually crispy. Mm. Oh, and uh, you just saw Georgia's shrimp and grits. Everything was delicious and we were happy campers. After breakfast, we stopped at Dollar General for our next activity. So the bride loves to bake. So this challenge, I would say, is kind of like cake wars or nailed it. So we split into two groups. We had Carrie and I in a group and then we had Brie and Natalie and then poor Georgia. <laughs> she was the odd one out. So she hopped back and forth, but she technically won no matter who won, she was the winner. So that was a plus for Georgia. <laughs> but we went to Dollar General and we had $20 to find different supplies and decorations to add on to a blank white cake. So each team had an identical plain white cake. Our team decided to cover a tin with some icing to make it a two-tiered cake, and then we added some flowers, and the other team added some flowers around the base of the cake, a big G for Jazzy's new last name, and they actually picked out a doily to imprint lace, like a lace feel, on top of the cake to represent her dress. So here are the final cakes from each group, and this was such a fun activity. And it's fun because each team added little bits about Jazzy or her wedding. So like the macaroons on here are supposed to um, showcase that she went to Europe for her elopement. And just every, I think both teams did so good, but we won, not gonna lie, we won. And I was pumped. <laughs> So after this activity, we all got fancy, like we were going to Jazzy's wedding so we could see her in her wedding dress. <laughs> we of course took tons of photos of the bride and with the bride. Doesn't she look so pretty? It was so cool to see her in her dress and recreate a little mini wedding ceremony or wedding just a wedding for her. Essentially, you'll see as the night continues, we do some things you would normally do at a wedding. And it was just fun to share those moments with her and, you know, create the experience of us seeing her in her wedding dress and speeches and gifts and different things that she didn't get during her elopement. So these are gifts that she gave us, personalized Spotify playlists, so cute, so cute guys. Everything she gave us was adorable. Different Taylor Swift or wintry things that go just so perfectly with the weekend. Um, personalized notes and it was just super, super thoughtful gift. We decided to make some buffalo chicken wraps for dinner with some mac and cheese. This Jazzy's obsessed with buffalo sauce so it's right up her alley. <laughs> we tried to make this whole, this whole weekend Jazzy themed. And then we sat down in our comfy PJs and we watched her wedding video. Oh my gosh, I hope she shares most or all of this on her YouTube channel. I'm sure she will very shortly. It was such a beautiful 
video and just so cool to see her elopement and her whole trip. She went on a whole trip to Italy, so not trying to spoil it if you haven't seen her channel, but it was so beautiful, guys. After we watched her video, we had a little champagne toast. I will spare you those tears because I cried the way through. I'm pretty sure Jazzy's sharing some of that on her channel too. Like, I'm not trying to like drop their videos to say go watch it all the time, but honestly, guys, there's so many giggles and so many funny things that you're not seeing in here. Like this super fun charades game by the fire. What do you guys think she's acting out? Please let me know in the comments below and I will let you know in a future vlog what the answer is. Remember, all of this is Taylor Swift inspired. So what do you think she's acting out? It's hysterical when you find the answer. The next morning we packed up the Airbnb and headed over into Asheville actually for the first time. We were about an hour outside of Asheville up to this point and we went to a little brunch spot called Tupelo Honey. So delicious. Look at these cute cups. I got a kick out of those. Biggest mimosas, yummiest food. Highly recommend if you're in that area. Highly recommend. Okay, you guys, we're at Tupelo Honey right now. Is that how you pronounce Tupelo. it, Georgia? Like Tupelo? Tupelo, Tupelo Honey. Dominic and I have tried coming here every single time we've come to Asheville and we've not been able to get in. Georgia came in, she's a real MVP. She booked us a reservation. I had a spicy chicken and waffles. The waiter said it was a level five out of 10 spice. No, 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 it was level nine. <laughs> but it was still so good. Look at all this food. I think everyone was happy with their food. It was so, so delicious. And then we went around Asheville and just kind of checked out the city since we were, you know, cozy cabin vibes <laughs> the whole weekend. Of course, we stopped at Dunkin' because Jazzy can't go a day without it. <laughs> oh, and I left this clip in. Look at this merchandise, guys. It was amazing. Christmas stuff from Dunkin'. I don't know. I had to leave it in for you because I know some of you guys like Dunkin'. And I know the bride does, and I do too. And look, guys. Look at us. Look how cute we are in our little shirts that Jazzy made us. Ugh. I had to leave that clip in. Anyway, we just kind of explored Asheville a little bit and went to the girls' new Airbnb. I decided to head out this day to see my boys, but some of the girls extended this day for another night. Oh no, you're not crying. I'll see you soon. Cutie besties. Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. No, it's okay. I feel like you're so tall. <laughs> this is like when people are tall. Aww. It was so, so good, good to, to meet you. Oh, well, guys, this is so fun. Yes. This is so fun. Bye. Safe travels. Safe travels. Let us know when you make it. Yeah, yeah I will. Yeah. I'll be like, breast milk, gone. Yeah. <laughs> She's oh, hilarious. Not good. Not good. Not good. Oh, yeah, not that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Bye. Are you laughing? Just listen. <laughs> You'll see me as long with Dave. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> and make sure go subscribe to Elena. <laughs> yeah. Like and subscribe. Her video too. It's a plug. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye, guys. I don't know where I'm going, but love you. You'd be you safe. Bye. Bye. <laughs> It really was so sad to leave because we had such a good weekend. Breaks my heart a little bit. I didn't fully vlog and share more with you guys, but I still think it was fun to put this video together and show what we did essentially and all the fun we did have. Like I said, check out the other girls' channels and their videos if you feel like it. I already know they're gonna be so much fun. And I will see you guys all tomorrow with the next video, which is a day in the life when I am back home from the trip. I love you guys and thanks so much.